We're Sid and Mackie, and since 2014, we've been racing mountain bikes professionally and traveling in our van. This week, we're in Ohio visiting my family for Thanksgiving, and we're finally going to get a chance to ride at the Baileys. This new trail system didn't exist at all when we were last here just two years ago, and today we're going to try to ride every trail. You told me when I was in high school that, oh, in 10, 12 years, there's gonna be a trail system in Chansey. I would've just been like, yeah, no. Okay, today is a very exciting day. We are about to go out to the Baileys, which is a new trail system that has been built near where my parents live here in Ohio. This trail system is a huge deal. They will eventually have 100 miles of trail, and the community has really come together to support this trail system from the National Forest to the state of Ohio. They've gotten tons of grants. It's very, very, very cool. We were actually a part of it at the very beginning. We organized a fundraiser with the Athens Bike Club back in, uh, when was that, 2016? And despite being a part of the very beginning of this project, we have not actually gotten to ride these trails, partially because of my injury, partially because we haven't been back here for two years due to COVID. This is my birthday ride. My birthday was yesterday. Didn't get to do a birthday ride on my birthday last year, so I'm really excited to do it this year. We postponed a day because of weather, but we are gonna go out and we're gonna try to ride every trail at the Baileys. It's 25 miles right now, but maybe we'll make it a tradition, <laughs> try to do every trail when there's, you know, 50, 60, 100 miles. So this challenge will get harder year to year. We've got key. I'll just put my keys on now. First time riding in a while. Wearing all of my clothes. <laughs> And my mom's clothes and helmet. We've got my mom, got their two bikes, and then we're gonna get our bike and keep bike on the van. So we just got our first glimpse of the parking lot. And this is gonna sound like an overreaction. <laughs> But I'm not gonna lie, having grown up in this area, I am just shook. She's shook, y'all. To, to use a phrase that I'm too old to use. <laughs> I am shook that this exists here. Like, it's just so legit. Also, I, I know you're like, one, two, it's three, a parking lot. Four, five, six, seven, eight, eight cars, and it's a Wednesday. There's a pavilion that is not falling down. There are cars with bike racks. Like this is honestly wild to me. And like very, very, very exciting. And look at these cute little bathrooms. You had told me when I was in high school that like, oh, in 10, 12 years, there's gonna be a trail system in Chansey and it's gonna have public bathrooms. <laughs> you would have laughed. I would have been like, yeah, no. But um, here we go. Here's something that I want to share with you guys so that you don't make a fool of yourself like I did. This town is spelled C-H-A-U-N-C-E-Y, but it is not pronounced Chauncey, it's pronounced Chancey. So now when you're like, I'm gonna go to Chauncey, Ohio, you can say Chauncey, Ohio, and people will make fun of you. Sid made fun of me. I didn't make fun of him, I just kindly corrected because that's not how it is said here. <laughs> Guys, there is a car with a California license plate in this parking lot. Right here in Chansey, Ohio. <laughs> a Californian. California. To Chansey. So did some New Mexicans. There's a New Mexico. <laughs> there's somebody with a New Mexico license plate in this. Ah, oh, there's a trail. I see. Well, you are knee on. Yeah, this is an atrocious outfit. <laughs> Just, I don't want comments about how I don't match. But here's the thing. I don't think one has to match in winter. You just have to be one. <laughs> Alright, single trekkie. Single trekkie! Woo! 
Oh, it's cola train. No, it's cold. It definitely said C O L A. Dad, what's this spell called? This train is not cola. Not cola train? No. Matthew swears that's what the sign says. They don't believe me that that sign said cola train. <laughs> yeah, okay, my brain 100% swapped that A and the L. I'm not sure how. My brain 100% did a weird thing and swapped the L and the A. It was really bizarre. Oh, you went back to check the sign. Yeah. So the sign's fine. The sign is fine. But you might very well be dyslexic. <laughs> Apparently. Oh, that's fun now. Yeah. Nice little tipple at the top. It's crazy how the leaf cover seems to help. Totally. It's so cool to finally get to ride these trails after having heard about them for two years. Well, that's probably the most annoying part about riding in these t conditions is when you get a leaf that gets stuck in your bike and then starts making rummy, bubbly, rumbly, bumbly noises. We need to stay on tipple top, okay. so holler, collar, okay. and then we'll take bullfrog. Since we are taking a little break anyway, we thought it'd be a good time to thank the sponsor of this video, who is Aftershocks headphones. These are the Aeropex bone conduction headphones. We've talked about them before on the channel. We absolutely love them. They are waterproof. The battery lasts for eight hours, which is long enough for like almost all of our rides, except when Mackie decides to Everest. This little part sits right here next to your ear, but not in it and sends the sound into your ear via vibrations, which is very handy because that means you can still hear everything that's going on around you. I particularly like for riding on roads, but also for riding on trails, because if I were wearing earbuds for this ride, I wouldn't be able to hear Mackie. I also wouldn't be able to hear other trail users. And as you can see by all the cars we've been seeing, there are actually other people out here. I personally get really claustrophobic wearing most headphones while I ride. I just feel tense because I don't know what's going on. Even out in the woods, I'm afraid I might not hear something, especially if I'm riding by myself, that someone might sneak up on me. I do not have that problem with these. I love them. We cannot recommend them enough. So go ahead, head down to the description and click the link for a discount from Aftershocks. I did not notice that turn coming. <laughs> I feel like the trail is still fairly easy to see, like tell where it is. Yeah. It's just hard to tell if there's anything under the leaves. I was just about to say how nice and quiet it was out here and then I got a leaf stuck in my bike. All right, this is nuts. This is a totally different parking lot with an additional one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight cars. Once again, on a Wednesday, as you can see by Mackie's butt, we've encountered a couple wet spots, but most of the trails are dry. I was just like that one section. Okay, there's the chainsaws back. Made it all of like 15 feet before I picked up another chainsaw leaf. Ooh, a rock.
I'll be quite up to speed to hit that as a drop, but maybe next time. Ah! Every now and then we'll hit a corner, everything is dry, and then there's just a corner that's that classic Ohio ice mud. So, keeps you on your toes a little bit. Oh god. Oh, I barely made it up that. Okay, we gotta go this way. Nice. Whoa. Ah! Full wet at the end exit of that. That was a cool little feature though. The only problem with wearing the aftershocks while I ride is I want to sing along, which is not really a problem for me, it's just a problem for all of you who are watching this video. <laughs> this next trail is technically called Trillium Thrill, but we decided that they left the obvious name on the table here and that it should be Thrillium. And so that's what we're calling it. Trillium is a kind of flower, if you don't know, which I'm sure is why they named it that. But I feel like Trillium Thrill is basically impossible to say. Couldn't see any of those rocks. Hit rim there a little bit. No thanks on that one for me. It's wide, but it's kind of a long way down. Well, that section was muddier than we would have liked, but we didn't really have a way around it. So now my foot is wet. Forded the river. <laughs> oh, no traction no. there for a hot second. I almost missed this trail, core tour. Um, it's, it's covered in leaves.
I know, but that's my fault. No, it's not. Like, I don't, I don't think you are our limiting factor. Uh, I mean, I am. But you mean not more than you expected me to be. <laughs> Well, I just, I mean, you're like, you're not the limiting factor, but realistically, I'm always the limiting factor when we ride together, so that's just simply not true. I'm not offended by it. I just, like, feel like you're bullshitting me. You are not the what is taking longer than I thought it was going to Okay, you would go faster if I were not here. Maybe a little bit, but honestly, I kind of feel like this is you kind of feel like, what? Yeah. Oh. Sorry. I tore from the gym work yesterday, and I'm tired, and the cat is making my head hurt. <laughs> I can fix one of those things, but not the other two. Would you like to stop and take your hat off? <laughs> oh, we're back here again. Okay, well, I'm out of water. Are you out of water? Not quite. You want some? No, I got a little bit. I was going to save it till we got to the road. I'm rationing. You're rationing it? <laughs> yeah. All right. Uh, I mean, I guess the other thing is we could go back up this and then tibble top backwards. I'm, I'm not, not going really up that sure again. I'm not really sure that would be shorter. I don't think that would be shorter. For some reason, I did not bring a second water bottle. Like, I knew I should have. I even thought about it. I was like, I could put this in my pocket. But I didn't want to, so I didn't. And now I'm feeling dumb. I also didn't bring any food. So, uh, we're idiots, basically. For some reason, this is taking just like way longer than we thought it was going to. And I don't know why, because we're not really going that slow. We did fail in our mission. We underestimated the trails in that we thought we would be going faster. Like we've been riding for two and a half hours, we've gone 17 miles. So that's like, that's like seven miles an hour average. I thought we'd be averaging like 10 or a little bit more. These took longer than we thought they were going to. So we are not going to get all of the trails in one day, unfortunately. We're gonna skip, what are we skipping? Hacksaw. Hacksaw. Hacksaw and wild turkey. I had like six inches of wild turkey. All right, we're riding six inches of wild turkey. So we'll have touched it. But yeah, basically we thought we'd be going faster. We also did not prepare appropriately for being out for like three or four hours. We only have one bottle each. We don't have any snacks, bonking. It's just the way it goes sometimes. So we're being smart about it. We're gonna skip a couple of trails, finish it off, head back to the car. So I'm gonna list for you guys my excuses. Sid and I always joke about this. This is what we call excuse stacking. And it's very common in racing. People love to make all sorts of excuses about why they didn't race better than they did. So we try very hard not to excuse stack while racing. But I'm gonna go ahead and excuse stack to you guys right now about why this ride is brutal. First of all, we did not bring enough water and food, 100% our fault. Second of all, I am sore from doing a gym workout yesterday. Third, what was third? Oh yeah, my third excuse was that I was wearing a hat under my helmet because it's cold out here and the hat was making my head hurt. That was my third excuse. I would say the main saving grace for me right now is that I am wearing my Aftershock headphones. Because if I did not have headphones on right now and music playing, I would be real grumpy and probably be a grump to Sid, which is totally unfair because it is not her fault that my hat was making my head hurt. Sid says she thinks we have about four or five miles left. I really think like, part of the reason we're in car is it is for like that. That's true, I'll add it to my list of excuses. Excuse number four, it's wet. Wet-ish. Wet-ish, good point. Oh, 
bridge out. Excellent. Do you maybe think that there was never a bridge? I'm confused as to where the bridge would have gone. <laughs> non existing bridge out. I mean, in my defense, at least, this is my longest ride. By time. Even by climbing. See, that's an actual excuse, though. Nice save! That was excellent. I don't even know what I hit. I think it just was puppy. Yeah, I don't know what happened either. Good job, good That's job. Okay, so we didn't quite achieve our goal. We did not. It's a but bummer. We did ride 20 miles. Ooh, 21. And 21. a little over 21, actually. Yep. So, of 25. So, not too bad. Longest ride time, most elevation climbed. Yeah, for me, since my injury. That's so. pretty good. I'm pretty happy with it. Pretty good birthday. Yay, happy we'll birthday. We'll have to come back and ride all the trails next year. There will be more trails, so it'll be harder, but we will bring more water. <laughs> Here, I have a birthday present for you. Thanks. <laughs> I'm supposed to put a candle in it. <laughs> <laughs> I figured you wanted it more now than you wanted a candle in it. That's true. All right. All right.